again and welcome to Fire When Ready Adventures in Star Wars Tabletop Gaming for Emotionally14.com A show dedicated to Star Wars Legion, Star Wars Armada, Star Wars Rebellion and Star Wars Outer Rim I'm your host as always, Brad Harmer Barnes and I'm joined by my constant compatriot Ian Harmer Hey! It's me again! <laughs> Well, you're on the last episode, isn't it? Yes, sir. In fact, this will be 20, depending on what order they finally get released, this might be your 25th episode. My word. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's surprising. It doesn't feel like yeah. that either. So. Uh, it was episode 23 aired yesterday, and we've, we've, we are mild again. We did since then. So this is either going to be 24 or 25, depending mm-hmm. on production. Well, yeah, on the release schedule. Yeah. It's up to you, Rob. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so this might be episode 25 for all we know, which is. fire. We should have cake. Okay, <laughs> it's a cheese. It's a cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so but we've been here well over a year now. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's amazing how much the yeah. through. So we and now we're looking at Outer Rim and Clone Wars on the horizon as well. It's pretty exciting. It's great, right. isn't it? Yeah, I'm excited about today as well. You're excited about today as well because it's this is a set you've been looking forward to for a while. Yes, well, well yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, and and, good. and Broadside's coming up as well. We're going to do another live show in City Born in yes. Kent. Yes, City Born in Kent. Yes, yes. As opposed, as opposed yes, to sitting that's, somewhere that's, else. That's going to be good. We've got some uh, big mega, mega game. We've got some big shit. That's what we're going to have. We've got that new train to put out. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. Probably two ATSDs. <laughs> yes. Or maybe not. No. We may not have room. Might have something else instead. Yes. Let's see what's coming up. <laughs> and we're joined by the guest I've been neglecting for the first three minutes of the episode. Wake up, man. I would say, till I just go. Right. <laughs> well, I thought we'd have a bit of bands and then bring you in. Oh, okay. Yeah. How are you? Right. Yes, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, the end, like. Thanks for including me in yet another one of your Fire When Ready videos. <laughs> you turn up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so All in you, the family. <laughs> what are you up to? Any gaming stuff? Any Star Wars stuff? Um, well, apart from. Being a bit sad over the morning of. Um, oh, yeah, we yeah. lost Peter, didn't yeah. last time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but um, you know, so depressed speaker. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, sure. Uh, yeah, but uh, not yeah, recently. I've not been able to dip much uh, legioning in mm-hmm. or anything like that, which is a shame because I'd like to play it more. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Battlefront. No, what's wrong with you? I know, I was trying to think of what sort of stuff I have done recently, I'm trying to think. Are you reading the comments because you've got a Marvel Limited subscription? Yeah, I, I think I've been reading more, I've been doing more Marvel things recently, <laughs> unfortunately. It's and fine. it's a wrong show for that. That's <laughs> not in, yeah. in game, put the flavour into it. Okay, yeah. that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, have you been doing much Star Wars in? Revisited Rogue One again. It's so I, do, I do like that film. It's, yeah. it's creeping towards the top of your list, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's obviously, Empire would always be mm-hmm. there as well. Um, no, it is. It's, yeah. it's, it's, I think it's, do we like people dying? I don't know. Or spoiler. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 2016, it's fine. Uh, no, no, it, it is good. You, you really know cool. where it's going to play. When you, we went knowing that yeah. it wasn't going to go well for some of them. Yeah. Yeah, so, mm. yeah, yeah. Oh, Krennic's really bad day. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> I think that should just have been if they did, they didn't do a title call or if they did it it should have just been one line and that's yeah. all it said. <laughs> that yeah. it. Today is no good. Yeah. Um, well, I've been doing. Um, I've been re- I, I did the Join Resistance trilogy, which was a kid series of books uh, leading up to for the first two lead up to Force Awakens and the third book is the sort oh, of okay. Star Killer base. Mm-hmm. And it, it's a bit rebelsy, but resistance is about a young group of people joining the resistance and uh, the adventures they have. And it's a, a good, enjoyable uh, kids' adventure story. Mm-hmm. Um, if you buy the audiobook version on Audible, you actually get all three books in one bundle. For That's quite awesome. Yes, yeah, so it's about 12 hours for mm-hmm. of, of Star Wars action. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, is it tied into the resistance cartoon? No, no, it's totally, totally independent. Totally separate. Yeah, 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 the res- mm-hmm. Joining the resistance was, mm-hmm. was the title. Yeah, it's not related to the cartoon for some reason. No. As far as I'm aware, because we can't see that in the UK yet. No. Um, Bring it out. Just, or just get it. Oh, seriously, I mean... You know, well, couldn't you just make the Disney Plus Network launch for the same time as it does in the States? But no, <laughs> can't do that. Uh, oh, uh, Je- have you got Jedi Lost yet? No. Have you got Jedi Lost yet? No. It's the uh, first time of they, or first time they've done, uh, certainly for new canon, and certainly for a long time in general, an original audio drama. Okay. Released oh, on, on okay. Audible, and it's, uh, I think so far it's the earliest canon story because it's uh, you oh, Count no, Dooku. No, I seem to have missed that one. Too. It's yeah. only just come out. It's oh, okay. uh, Count yeah. Dooku as a Padawan, so it's quite oh, far back. 
Okay. Oh, it's not like a lost Jedi. It's on it an got, island. It's, it, it goes it, on for it, so many episodes. It's kind of, no. It's uh, it runs. <laughs> God damn you, J. from J. from J. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> but it's kind of like parallel stories. One part is following Asajj Ventress researching oh, young okay. Dooku, yeah. and then there's another which is Dooku starting with him as a Padawan and him teaching Qui Gon as he gets older. Right. And uh, as with the Star Wars audiobooks, the production quality is superb, oh, and so. the voice acting is incredible to the point. The, the guy doing Yoda, I assumed it was Tom Kane from mm. Clone Wars, but no, it's just a voice actor. Doing an amazing, amazing oh, really? Yoda. Best, yeah. best one this side of Frank Oz for sure. Oh, wow. yeah. Now, um, yeah, and I don't know if it is great or not doing a so much of interest, but it sounds like it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a, a good story as well. So, and again, um, when it were announced, I thought it's going to be what hour and a half, maybe two hours, hmm. six yeah. and a half. Wow, it's amazing. It's well worth mm -hmm. taking a dive on the uh, oh, oh, yeah. Fox. Fox. Yeah. yeah. Um, Did someone do a good Christopher Lee impression? <laughs> um, he doesn't have the base of Chris. Well, he's, 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 he's a baby, baby Dooku. Yeah, yes. uh, he doesn't have the right base resonance, but his pacing and his diction is spot on. Okay. So he, he, it's, it's a good recasting of Dooku, I suppose. Yeah. Rather, is he is trying to be Dooku rather than trying to be Christopher Lee? Yeah. He, he does that very well. Okay. That's all right. But the reason we're here is we've got another unboxing to do. Ooh, because another month's exciting. gone by, leaving just one... Yeah, so have break, some more stuff. Have some more stuff. Have some more stuff. Um, but it's big stuff this time, which means we're going to need to bring it up on the Star Heavy Wars shooter, on the Fire When Ready Binary Load Lifters. <laughs> Coming one at a time. That's really how the binary works. <laughs> 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 so we have... The X34 land speeder, and we have the TX225 Gav W combat occupier combat assault tank. Finally, mm -hmm. we've got some vehicles. We haven't had vehicles, to my mind, since wave one. That's right, yeah, the that's last right. ones were right. speeder bikes, T47, the ATRT, and the ATS2. It's the last vehicles we had a, a year ago. It's a year since we've had vehicles. And we've gone. And we've gone big. Early, as well, early, early we've in gone the big. scheme. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're expecting, because I, I knew they were going to do vehicles, and I suspected they were going to do something like the tank. Something this was a bit more out of left field for me, mm. because... You expect that's going to be a lot swifter than this thing, anyway, so they don't really yes. kind of carry up too much. So but that's to... good, because I've complained before about how it was all feeling a bit mirror matchy. Yeah, before. yeah. Um, this is basically a technical. It is, that's so, what I love about it. It's really yeah, it is it's, what the Rebels would do. It's, it's, it's bolt cemented a... for war game side yeah, of, yeah. of Star Wars Legion. Mm. Um, yeah, it is, they've stuck a, We've got a, a stuck machine gun on the back of a Toyota Lantis. Yeah, basically. Yeah. basically. Yes. Stuck a Toyota truck at an MG34 yeah. on the back. That's more yeah. good issue all over again. Yeah, but that, that's great. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> emphasised from those resistance fighters. Just yes. kind of, uh, and I, I'm looking forward to this. Um, and I think it's going to zip across Looks busy. It's... Probably going to be outpaced by the speeder bikes, that's yeah, honest, but yeah. hopefully it'll take a bit more damage than the average speeder bike, which you just need to sneeze on when it explodes. Mm. And the guys you got in the in the there? Uh, on the render on the back, there's a driver what? and two guys running pillions. So you kind of think that there'd be some sort of the maybe the driver can operate that front gun. Yeah, so it yeah. may have a restricted arc or something. Yeah, there's also a, so we've got a, a human driver. So yeah, sitting in the cockpit. Mm. There's a Rodian with a, uh, a rifle, a rifle back, also, yeah. and there's a toilet with a, what looks like a shoulder-mounted bazooka. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, so hopefully some options, and there's a, a choice of calibrations for mm -hmm. the front here. So right, these are not wizzy you just go for what looks best, and yeah. the cars tell you to load it up. And uh, we also have the uh, TX-225, what are we expecting from this? Because I'm expecting hit points. I'm expecting Pantro to be driving it. <laughs> <laughs> It does look a bit like... It does. Okay. It, it was only two minutes before we started recording you pointed out it looked like the Thunder Tank. And now I can't not see the Thunder Tank. To the point where I might accidentally paint it as the Thunder Tank. Yay! Yay. Please. <laughs> it's just going to be grey. I mean, it's, it's almost... Yeah, but do, but do it panthro grey. You want me to green stuff panthro onto one of the drives? Yeah, yeah. It's got a big title this I think I speak for us all when I say why. <laughs> I think there's a I think there's a market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. If you're listening, Blake's really up for a, a Thundercats war game. <laughs> With I'm sure there's a Venn diagram between Legion and Thundercats. I, I mean, there is you. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> yes, there is. Uh, it looks. It's got a of a title. Sorry, thing. Thing. No, wait, it's, it's got a of a title. This thing, isn't it? Uh, TX-225 Gav W Occupy Combat Assault Tank Yeah, we're, we're right. presumably okay. they were buying by Put the Put some words in Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Which obviously means it's going to come with upgrades Well we know when we've seen well. it Yes it's, it's, It, it does doesn't fare well movie. No, it does not But that is up against Saw Guerrero's partners That's true fair. Yeah, there's um, some heavy weapons there How do we see these affecting the games of Legion we play? So obviously you, you guys can go and check our library. We've got lots of gameplay videos. Um, we like a lot of gameplay videos, and we say fuck. And I think this thing is going to be swifter than anything else they've got up to now, isn't it? Um, the speed of bikes, I reckon, will outpace it. But I'm yeah, we're part of the flight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's speed two. Totally looking at the car, so, so it's maybe some sort of speed. Because the speed of bike is what speed of one. So it would have to do a compulsory move as well. Which is a bit similar to speed yeah. bike in the UK. This thing I can see being planted in the middle of the board. A table one area to know. Yeah. If it's um, got decent fire enough. It's yeah. got, well, it looks like the frontal guns might have a tight arc. Which, uh, well, for the, speaking specifically to the games we play on the show, we've got we'll, guests and our conventions, we're lovely set up. We have this, I can see being effective as a strike vehicle because in the role that the speeder bikes hold for the Empire, I can see our group and our show using that, zipping across the board, shooting Her stuff. Carrying people, yeah, rather, yeah, rather yeah. This, I can see being very useful as a troop carrier. Yes, if, for uh, moving snow troopers. That's how it works, move the snow troopers up a bit more. Vader. Yeah. Yeah, true. Zip Vader across the middle of the board by the second turn. Hmm. Hmm. As opposed to his asthmatic limping he does most games. Yes. Yeah. He, he does a good move, but it's always at the end of the game. He's got legs. <laughs> <laughs> Put me back in my back door. Um, this is a, a tracked vehicle, wasn't it, rather? Uh, it's tracked suspensor. Yeah, so this, so this is repulsive. This is so obviously the mines come into it again. So, yeah. So. Yeah, uh, I mean, you're also off mines, but I'm hopeful a tank taking mine blast. Well, it depends. I'll fit a flail on the front if you want. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, it, 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 we know what it, how, how it operates, and mm -hmm. it looks like it's got packing cages it's on it. It's got there. keywords up the wazoo looking at the car. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, there's only one thing we're going we're gonna to have to get. A Stanley knife. <laughs> Stanley, we're Stanley. Up, and then we're going to get a Peter Stanley. Mayhew knife. Peter, Peter, oh. Oh. <laughs> so, um, let's see what's inside of these wonderful packages. Okay, so up first is the X34 Land Speeder. Ian's got the instructions there, and that looks like a considerably larger instruction manual than we've seen for yeah, they've given us the, the other releases. Well, there's a few more pieces, obviously. Yeah. So they said they were going to start escalating the um, options and kind yeah, of it's nice hobby to include. They've actually more given you a bit more info about side of it. It looks like you've got the <coughs> option to have that cowl on there. Mm -hmm. Engine as well. Always oh, clear plastic. Uh, unable to match the Empire's production of military equipment, the Rebel Alliance often makes do with civilian vehicles like the X-34 Land Speeder, whose speed and nondescript appearance are useful in avoiding capture. When used in combat, these fast and surprisingly durable vehicles employ hit-and-run tactics. The Rebels have fitted many X-34s with stolen weaponry, which is plugged directly into the Speeder's overcharged power converters. Okay, so it is a heavy... Uh, vehicle, so it will take up the same slot as uh, the turrets and the T-47 mm -hmm. and it is 75 points for one model. It has six hit points, damage threshold is four, uh, its defense dice is white surge to block. It has a speed of two and the only weapon it comes with as a standard loadout is the driver's DH-17 blaster pistol, which is range 1 to 2, 2 white surge to hit. Keywords are armour 2, while defending, cancel up to 2 hit results. Arsenal 3, which obviously means when you activate it, it can fire with up to 3 weapons, but at its most basic, you've only got one weapon. Okay. Uh, light so you've got different, that's good though. It's, it's, if you, uh, you know, need, need, you need a points adjustment, you've got yeah. that ability as well. Uh, light transport one open. You may transport one friendly trooper unit that consists of exactly one small base mini. After defending, if you suffered one or more wounds, each unit you're transporting suffers one wound. And it also says speed of one. When, ignoring, when moving, ignore terrain height one or lower. So it's anything six inches or shorter it can go over with impunity. And when you activate, perform a compulsory move. Uh, we do have new rules for this one as well, uh, which is embark and disembark. Embarking and disembarking are move actions that allow a unit to enter or exit a vehicle with a transport X keyword. 
To embark, the unit performs a standard move that places its unit leader into base contact with the vehicle. Then, the unit is removed from the battlefield. To disembark, a unit that is being transported places its unit leader in base contact with the vehicle and performs a speed 1 move. If the vehicle has moved more than once during that round, disembarking uses the unit's entire activation and the unit cannot perform free actions. A unit cannot both embark and disembark during the same activation. Make sense? Okay, okay. yeah. Uh, transported. A transported unit cannot perform attacks, be attacked, gain or spend tokens other than suppression tokens, or perform any actions other than a disembark action. Transported units can be issued orders. Transported commanders not just can issue orders. And a transported commander's courage value can be used by friendly units when checking whether they panic. To measure range from or to a transported unit, measure range from or to the base of the vehicle. Transported units are ignored by objective. That's a pretty simple and straightforward method of doing transport. Mm. Yes, yes, they've they kept that fairly easy. Uh, we've got a few upgrades. One we've seen before, which is HQ uplink. Uh, tap during the issue order step of a command phase, issue an order to yourself. On top of that, we also have... Ryder Azadi, who is a driver character, rebel only, repulsor vehicle only, tap to, while performing a move, increase or decrease your maximum speed by one. So you could okay. decrease your maximum speed for purposes of a compulsory move. That could be useful, because it's getting yeah. a train, obviously. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, there are two copies of Outer Rim Speed Jockey, which is rebel vehicle, repulsor vehicle only. You gain cover one. While defending against a ranged attack, improve your cover by one. Looks like that could be used in a T forty seven as well. Okay. A three hundred rifle gunner, which is as to as a gunner to the X thirty four, which is range one to three to white. Search to hit. RPS six rocket gunner, which is range two to four red black white. Search to hit impact two. It's, it, it, it's, it's, they've got the fixed low there. You can't add anybody. You couldn't put like a commander or special forces guy in his speeder. Uh, you can transport them as a passenger. So you can get one and person. There's, there's two extra people here. Yeah. Well. Okay. Uh, you can upgrade. You can stick a medium blaster in the front of it, which is range one to three, four black fixed front. And there is also you can instead of having the machine gun at the front, you can have an M45 ion blaster at the front of it. Which is range one to four, tap to fire, one black, four white, fixed front, impact one, eye on one. Could be quite useful. Yeah. Especially if there's a. this rocket. This rocket uh, I think you good. could have that and that because they take up different slots. Nice. The ion rifles uh, hold mounted. Oh, okay, that's, that's fixed, yeah. Yeah. Has a detail on the sculpt looking. I was having trouble. Oh, oh, the, the weapon I've, I've picked up so far. Mm -hmm. uh, I managed. Right, actually. Dave wasn't here to pop them together. <laughs> God damn it, Blake. Wouldn't even know where to begin. I'm not Dave, I've come to accept Four that. Four black. Yeah. Medium blaster, it's not bad, is it? Mm. I've got some trousers. I was able to pop the death troopers last time, but that's about it. <laughs> they were a bit easy. I, think we can't, I don't think it's changed the material. I think it's mm -hmm. the same material that we've used. Okay, and up next is the TX-225 GAV-W Occupier Combat Assault Tank, which is a heavy vehicle, which means it takes up the same slot as an ATST, and it is 855 points of your 800-point build. Wow, okay. Um, thunder, 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 thunder. thunder. Yeah, not helping. Again, we've got, <laughs> a, we've got a brochure of an assembly. Yes, oh, it does look very pretty. The base pretty. is huge. Oh, no, that that, that picture make, it does make it look very really good. Actually. Yeah. I think it's crossed it all pretty mm. nicely. I've just been doing flames of war tanks last night. I've gone from like really tiny up to massive. Um, the only rules, it reintroduces the embark and disembark and transported rules, which are explained with the X34 yeah. land speeder. Okay, You've got these so nice canisters, what which I suppose are. What do you get for your 155 points? Well, you get one model, which is eight hit points of a six damage threshold. So reasonable health points, but also not tanked to represent the fact it is open topped as well. Well, that's the downside. It's basically like an APC, really, on that, yeah. that point of view, isn't it? Its defense is red surged blank. Uh, it has armor as a keyword, so it will block out all hits, only crits get through. 
Nice. Uh, it has Arsenal 2, so when it activates it can fire with up to two weapons. Uh, it also has Reposition, which is either before or after you perform a standard move, you may perform a free pivot action. Uh, transport 1 open, you may transport one friendly trooper unit. After defending, if you suffered one or more wounds, each unit you're transporting suffers one wound. So that doesn't have the figure limit the X-34 had. The X-34 said you could transport a trooper unit consisting of one model. Yes. Whereas this, you could transport a squad of stormtroopers. So you could get a squad of um, snow troopers on there. But it's only got a speed one anyway, so it makes you wonder if there's some way of souping it up. Uh, it has weak point one sides. While defending, if the attacker's unit leader is inside either of your side arcs, the attack pool gains impact one. Okay. Uh, as it's standard loadout, at the front it's got forward twin Mark II EW cannons, which are range one to two, red black, suppressive, fixed front. And it also has lateral quad Mark II EW cannons, which are range one to four, two red, two black, impact two, fixed front. Nice detail. Yeah. I like that these are uh, separate so you can actually take them off. Well, I presume you could put a squad on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. But if you had bullets just putting a pin on mounted stormtrooper. You could see that one maybe. Maybe, yeah, you'll see it blue. Oh, okay, I think you're probably right. Not in shaving a bit. Okay, so as the upgrades included, we'll, again there's HQ uplink, which is tap to during your order, you'll just fair to step issue an order to yourself. Uh, he comes with a new character as a driver, which is First Sergeant Armhead, uh, which is Imperial only, ground vehicle only. So you can What's his name? Armhead, A R B M A B. Yeah, uh, he's. I think you can use him in the ATST as well. As uh, so he's Imperial only, ground vehicle only, you gain tactical one. After you perform a standard move, gain the name token. And that would stack. So okay. if you move twice, you get two aim tokens. Uh, we also come with two upgrades of the Imperial Hammer's Elite Armor Pilot, which you'd be instead of Art Map here, uh, which is for 10 points you gain surge to hit. There's two of those, so again, you can put one in an ATST. Nice, so you get a spit of another red uh, card. There are also two weapon upgrades. You can put a DLT-19 rifle pimple on the front. Obviously, a DLT-19 is the big gun that the stormtroopers carry. Yeah. Uh, that is uh, Occupy Combat Assault Tank only, range 1 to 4, 2 red, impact 1. Or, alternatively, you can fit it out with an RT-97C rifle pimple, which is range 1 to 4, 1 red, 3 white. More suppressive fire. Yeah, I don't trouble getting the old gun, but it's better. Nice. You can just sit there doing a funny other mm. movement. Is pimple a word? Pimple's a word, yeah. That's right. Reasonably sure. I think it's on some of the blasts. It's definitely prominent to me. I thought I'd try and do the Dave as best I could. <laughs> Look at me, I'm doing the Dave. <laughs> doing the Dave. I was expecting half expecting it to be ruled for those. But they do just appear to be covered. Oh, what, the canisters? Yeah. Have they been dropped for anything? But it doesn't do it very well. Well, I suppose you just take them off if you're going to transport troops, and they're yeah. literally on the. I presume they can shoot out as well, if they. Yeah. So, uh, um. Sorry, because I missed it earlier. How many, how many Three can you take? track, for fuck's sake. How many can you transport? A squad. Oh, okay. Commanders as well, I take it. Yes. Any one, one trooper unit. Okay, so A squad or one. A squad or one. They can travel. A, any trooper unit can go in that. The X-34 trooper unit of one model, so a commander or astromech or something like that. Yeah. Both of them. Well, not in that, but you know. <laughs> Chewy. Yeah. You get Chewy or Han or Sabine. Luke, yeah. I guess, or Sabine. Yep. So that's a single character. Yeah, you'll get here over across the board. Yes. Yeah. And we're back. So we've cracked them open and we've taken a look at the X34 land speed and the Gav W Occupy tank. Blake, what are your initial impressions? Um, I'm surprised that tank is as slow as it is. It is slow, isn't it? Speed one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think that it's supposed to be more like a World War One tank that you're supposed to walk behind and use as armour? 
It didn't appear to move fast in the film, does it? No, but it's I thought that's because it's going through streets and stuff with yeah. crowds. So it felt like I, I was a bit worried that they'd taken the source material and gone, yep, that must be the speed it always moves at. <laughs> now, I, I don't mind On the standard it's map, it would, if it was faster than that, it would run out of room fairly quickly and would be able to navigate mm, around. Yeah, it's quite a big thing, isn't it? I do suppose. Mm. I, I, I'd be interested to see how it plays on the table. I like your some fire power. I like the yeah. upgrade you, you can give him of a standard move and get an aim token. Hmm. Because that's if you double move, that's two aim tokens. Yes, that's really quite useful. And it's, it does seem like it's got it's, some heavy... It's not guns. overly useful because you know, obviously you're in the The term, question I would, right, would raise is if, yeah. we, if we put a squad on there, yeah. can the squad shoot out as well? Uh, going on those transport rules, no, they have to disembark. Okay, so they can't actually fire. Yeah. So, yeah, that was my understanding. If they can take the only one, I mean, if that thing takes a hit, they could get killed. Yes. Just, I, yeah, that just makes you wonder, doesn't it? Because I thought it, was, it was different from the X-24, yeah. and I just... Uh, yeah, a transported unit cannot perform attacks. Our uh, transports can be issued orders, but that's it. Okay, okay, they are just on there. Yeah, embarking and dismarking move actions and they units enter exit a vehicle. So they're basically, yeah, they've they've stowed yeah. their weapons. So you just have to do a standard move into base contact, and then that's you in the vehicle. So that also means that you can't target the squads, I would imagine, once they're on there. It's assumed that they're inside. I'm not sure, because it wasn't one of them was open, it was like they took hits. Well, maybe it was that one, wasn't mm, it? Wasn't yeah. it? I'm not sure. No, I would imagine that if they can't yeah. shoot out, then they, they probably can't take hits. Yeah. 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 Well, I thought because you'd lose, if they took a wound for every wound that took, mm. that would wipe No, I mean, spot. you could actually specify them as a target. Yeah. I'm sure if the thing gets blown up, they die. But <laughs> I think it's. I don't think these are going to be as user friendly as some vehicles we've seen. I think they're going to be scary when that thing hits the map and it starts moving towards your men. Mm. It's going to create a bit of fuss. I, I, I think these vehicles, mm. going, going just on paper, because obviously it's an interesting game, we've got to test them out for the mm. review, is um, on paper, I think these will be harder to play than the vehicles we've had so far. Yes. Anyone. Can play speed device because we just zip, they zip around super fast. We've got a decent punch on that cannon. Yeah, and they're slippery. Yeah, so, yeah, and if you blow up, you still don't care because it's speed device. But this is a uh, heavy points value. This anyone one. can use the ATST and the ATRT. That ATRT is very user friendly. So mm -hmm. uh, these, I think, will need a better player to be able to use. Well, you use them fully. Yeah. I mean, certainly this thing. I think it will be intimidating if you upgrade it correctly yeah. and you use yeah, it. Yeah, I was correctly. surprised there was no Sight Beyond Sight card. It was <laughs> <laughs> random my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a climb wall with a thing. Yeah. Maybe we maybe throw a climb wall set, we'll get the one that does go walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be able to. Because now we seem to. That, that base. It's a, it's a big base, base actually. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. It's, it, that's not the size of a. No, I'm glad they based it as well. It's not the size of a, like a space marine predator, though. It's huge. Mm. Yeah, it's big. Yeah. Um, this thing, which we're neglecting a little bit. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I, I can see that being. It's going to be a technical. I think it's going to work for me. I like I think how a couple would be good on the back. Every time Rebel gets an upgrade, he goes, oh, I need another one. Yeah. What is more he bought another turret. To yeah. count the the Emperor, that was. The turret. <laughs> that, that, I like how versatile that is. Yes, I think that's been built to spec. It's been, it's a technical for you to upgrade. Mm. I like, across both sets, I like the pilot upgrades. Yes. Which could also yeah. be used for the T-47. That's really quite useful, actually, yeah. 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 Um, so you think you need enough one of these? I think it, it, it could harry troops. I don't know, I'd need a second one of these. Well, I'm not sure about that. I think it might and be not just a price tag. No, I think it might be cumbersome on the map when we've got terrain, it's got negotiation around. Uh, I looked at this is about 40 and this is about 50, I think. Okay. Okay. So they're, they're, they've got a bit more price points than the other um, stuff. If then. that's well out, a little price tag has just popped up in the bottom of the screen, so I can correct myself <laughs> in post production. No, I do think that is the, the, the casting on that's really nice. It is. It is. You can understand that. It's about 50 quid, it is priced fairly. I think so. But yeah. I'm not sure I need hundred pounds worth of them. No, 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 no I don't think you can yeah. use them that often. The ATST is straight away I was like, I want to play with two. Hmm. With this I'm like, I'm not sure I need a second one. Yeah. This I agree, two of them on board would be a lot of fun. Certainly yeah. in the grand. Wizard Red. Yeah. 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 Picking off the occasional trooper. Yeah. I'm wondering if there's, if there's some taken old objectives you pick up, is it the, the crates you pick up and take the crates with you? That's nice that they're loose. So just stick them in. No, I mean, the, the mission, where one of my missions is, you got like the last one we take played, yeah, it's, um, you it, pick it, up the crates and take them home. Could you stick them in the APC? 
I suppose you could. Yeah, that'd be one way. Yeah. Or we'll stick with Lance Reader and Jimmy. Yeah, because it's tied like to the, it's tied to the squad. So the squad gets in the APC. They'd have a great with him. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, well, so that's my initial impression. I'd have to read it if it came out. Well. But they have to be controlling it at, by the end of the game. I yeah, there may be a rule technicality, but at the moment that's my understanding mm. of it. Uh, there won't be a correction in post production because I can't fit that on the screen. Um, so, uh, it just comes up, he was right. <laughs> or he was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it depends on your point of view. Uh, so, the X34 land speeder, thumbs up, thumbs down. I like it. I, I, like think, it. Uh, I think a double thumbs up for this yeah, one. I, I do yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah, Sculpt's yeah. lovely. Um, the uh, Gav W Occupier tank, thumbs up, thumbs down. It's powerful. Uh, it's going to be interesting to use, I think, but okay. I, think, I think it's... It, it, we need it's it. a, a one thumbs up yeah, for that one. On the grounds of... I, this one I can see fitting in religious straight away. Yeah. This one... It's quite a bit of a build. Bit build, more best build, build I think, yeah. uh, I think it, definitely fun because I think the build quality is, of the model mm -hmm. is superb. Um, but as to how often it will actually hit the table... Yeah. That's my reservations. Yeah. Um, but it's a fun bit of kit and we're going to have to tell it's going to be scary rock. when it comes towards you it's going to be scary yeah, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be interested to see how it plays pro properly rather than thinking how it plays yeah, yeah well, as I always be different. as with always we have to for test drives so you will see a gameplay video for these very soon uh, which is as always as soon as I'm able to get them ready and up and running we'll be back for another uh, gameplay video yeah. Yeah. I'll work pretty quick hopefully I can turn it around in a 10 days, two weeks, hopefully. Uh, they're quite big models, so yeah, maybe two weeks. I'll see how I go. Um, so I have other stuff to paint as well. Let's just leave you at the moment. Um, so, guys, thanks very much for coming on a, another episode of Firewood Adventures in Thank you. Star Wars Tabletop Gaming. If you want to keep up with what we're doing, then you can, as always, keep it tuned to emotionally14.com, which is a site that contains loads of fantasy, sci fi, horror, comedy, superhero, uh, kaiju. Uh, helps out here, you do the shows. Um, more Star Wars. There's a yeah, Star Wars podcast, Star Wars, talk Star Wars, Wars, talk Star Wars there's Hero Clicks, there's um, uh, video gaming. There's a gaming podcast, there's a talking rubbish podcast. You're on it. Yeah, there's I'm on blank. that. There's Crazy Train, <laughs> Evil Team Gamecast. Yeah, loads of stuff. Basically, Talk Star Wars, you're on that. Yeah, but basically if you like Star Wars or gaming, which is, and if you watch the show this far, I hope you're into at least one of those, or you are shit at this, then what you need to do is you need to go and check out either Talk Star Wars or Emotion 14 Gamecast, or both. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you, and you can follow them on social media, on Twitter and Instagram at Emotionally14, and you can search for the Emotionally14 pages and groups on Facebook. Uh, if you want to keep up with Fire When Ready, then we are at Fire When Ready UK on Instagram, and you can also search for at Fire When Ready UK, or just search for Fire When Ready Adventures and Star Wars Tabletop Gaming on Facebook. And there's a page you can click like, and you get all the updates straight to your favourite news feed. Uh, if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, you can add me as a friend on Facebook at facebook.com slash Brad Harbour Barnes, and you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at RealBradHB. Ian, where can people find you? Uh, on Instagram, on Great Old One, or um, on HeroClicks UK. Yay, yay. Yeah, just Hero Clicks as well. Yes. Um, Blake, where can people find you should they be bothered? Yeah, if they can be bothered, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Instagram at Harmony Appreciator, <laughs> and you can also find me on Twitter at Fuck's sake, Blake. <laughs> should you bother? Probably not. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks very much. We'll be back very soon with uh, another gameplay video. See you soon. Bye. Peace. Bye.